Hello, my name is Ingar Rudholm, author and illustrator of the Traveling Circus Trilogy. The book cover and illustrations were on display at the Muskegon Art Museum and Ludington Center for Arts. I drew all the covers in pencil and then I colorized all the images using Photoshop. I co-wrote the third book with fellow Michigan author Jean Davis. She has written several sci-fi books and short stories. Traveling Circus and the Skeleton Key is coming out at the end of June. This poster is from 1984. When I was 12 years old, a circus came to town and set up in Funnel Field. Funnel Field was right across the street from my house in the small town of Whitehall, Michigan. Even though my trilogy is a fantasy story, I added memories from my own childhood. For example, over a hundred years ago, a ship sunk near the White Lake Pier, so I included the sunken ship and Lake Michigan in my story. The story begins with Cordelia, who goes swimming in Lake Michigan, and she discovers a sunken ship. On the sunken ship, she finds the secret town scroll which leads her on a journey to becoming a mermaid in the traveling circus. The bad guy in the story is Victor, who has a skeleton key that controls lightning, and Victor will stop at nothing to take back the secret talent scroll for himself. In book two, a boy named Flynn comes along to save the mermaid, but first, Flynn has to defeat the ringmaster, because the ringmaster has a pocket watch, that has the ability to fast forward, stop, and erase time. So Flynn seeks the advice of Albert the fortune teller, who has a crystal ball, where he has the ability to see the future and the past. And he gives Flynn in the story a superpower too, which is, anything Flynn draws becomes real. In book three in the trilogy, Cordelia and Flynn face the ultimate challenge, controlling the power within themselves. Cordelia has the opportunity to join the Olympic swim team, but her coach wants her to practice day and night for the competition. Can she learn to control her mermaid powers in time? Flynn's dreams of art college go up in smoke. Riddled with self-doubt, he gives up hope, until Albert the fortune teller shows up on his doorstep needing help. Can the Skeleton Key unlock their futures? If you'd like to find out more about my books, you can visit my Instagram account, Facebook page, or YouTube channel. I also travel all over the state of Michigan promoting my book at art shows. I'll be in Whitehall, Muskegon, Hesperia, and Northport, just to name a few places. The trilogy can also be purchased on Amazon. Thank you and have a great day.